Now welcome along to Calling It, so it is a short video for me tonight because I am wrecked tired and really pissed off by what went on tonight. Celtic lost to Ferenc Varos 2-1 in the Champions League second round qualifier, a terrible performance overall from Celtic on the night. Not good enough losing to the Hungarian champions, champions of Scotland. She was going out in Boston, the team. Firstly, Neil Lennon's starting lineup. A little bit strange, thought it was weird that he went for Ayer as opposed to Beton that he has gone for over the last three games. Uh, really surprised by Olivia and Cham starting off front. I know Odson Edward before the game, he had a bit of a niggle, so that's why he was left out of the starting lineup. But to start in Cham up front with two strikers sitting on the bench. I know Ajeti isn't really up to speed just yet, but you need to have a backup striker that's going to be able to play in these games. If Odson Edward now chooses to leave, then Celtic are completely out on the dumps without a striker, so that it's just not good enough. On the first goal, again, Celtic's defending from set pieces, just not good enough, hasn't improved over the last couple of years, and they were caught on the hop. It's a great finish, in fairness, from Ferenc Varos, but at the same time, you need to be dealing with those balls, you need to get them away quickly, and you just need to be able to get out in time to stop those shots. Somebody needs to be there to throw their body on the line. Uh, good enough response. Thought they controlled the game pretty much, uh, pretty much as expected. Celtic, but and got a good goal from uh, Ryan Christie as well. But the second goal from Ferrick Varos, absolutely chaotic. El Ahmed's not good enough there. The high, the line's not high enough there for a long ball. Should be playing much closer to the actual halfway line. And then you got to just take him out. If you if you're not if you think you're not going to deal with him, take him out outside the box. Take the red card. Carry on. And just actually do something as opposed to standing off and being bullied off of the ball. And we said before the game, I outlined Tokman Gwen, that's who the Hungarian uh, press were saying is their danger man. And he punished Celtic on the night. Barkas probably should have saved it as well. Shouldn't be getting from that, getting beat from that angle on the post. And it's just really, really bad night for Neil Lennon and really bad night for Scottish football overall because that's going to come back to haunt us after all the good work last year in the Europa League, beating Lazio twice, a home and away, top in the group, Celtic moving up in the rankings, Scottish League moving up in the rankings in Europe, in Europe uh, thanks to Rangers doing quite well as well last year. That's going to be taken apart if Celtic don't qualify for the Europa League now. It's a massive, massive deflation uh, for Celtic to be beaten at home by a side of that standard yes there weren't any pushovers I said before the game Celtic should probably be able to deal with them if they turned up Celtic didn't turn up they didn't come out get it come out of the gates quick enough and that's why they were punished at the end of the day don't deserve to go through if you can't beat the Hungarian champions you don't deserve to be in the Champions League simple as that's a fact that Celtic are going to have to deal with going forward what are going to be the upsets of this potentially could lose Odson Edward this year don't think he's going to jump shift just like that but no Champions League football for a player the standard of Odson Edward is a real deflation as well the Shane Duffy move couldn't come quicker if they can finally get that over the line because uh, Celtic are in desperate desperate need of sorting out that defence because it's just not good enough at this stage uh, El Ahmed, I thought he might have been good enough defensively to do that, that's really disappointing but in the centre back position and left back as well, it's just not good enough for Celtic at this stage if they want to be competing in the Champions League what, do you do, what did you think of the overall performance from Celtic tonight? I know I, I predicted an easy enough Celtic win was I too lax about it? Did Celtic take this game too easily? And what do you think the reaction is going to be? Let me know in the comments below, subscribe to the channel if you want more Celtic stuff I'm going to sign off after this short video because I need some sleep after that. Celtic 1, Frank Barros 2, I'm Andy Call has been calling it. We'll chat to you later.